Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the Talk of the Mac community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, we missed covering the last Final Cut Super Meet, but we're not going to make that mistake with the upcoming Super Meet in Amsterdam. Back to tell us about it. First up, Mr. Michael Horton. Mike, it's good to see you back. Hi, Chuck. You know, this is the first time we've done one of these video and audio chats, so this is going to take a little getting used to, and I really (laughs) want to go like this, but that looks stupid. Hi, Chuck. (laughs) Are you keep my hands down? And that part will be edited out if we have a problem. <laughs> okay. So this is a live switch then? Uh, yes, exactly. And uh, the the other person here is that you're hearing and seeing now is Mr. Dan Baruby. Dan, it's great to have you too. Thanks so much. You're welcome. I'm looking at this, and when I talk, the my video screen becomes highlighted. So yeah, is really. it like audio? Is that how, is that is how it works? switching it? It switches. Now Dan says something, and it switches, and then you say something, and it switches. Is that how yeah. it works? Yeah. How about if I do this? <laughs> and I can do this? <laughs> you guys are supposed to be video professionals? What? <laughs> no, I've never used this. This is really cool. Good. Well, hey, we, we, we're we trying a few things, trying to find a good, reliable way so, to do discussion. So you don't have to do any editing. You just – it just switches. Oh, oh no. It, it's, it's not switching the way you mean. No, it's just oh. designating who's speaking. Oh, okay. It's, well, it's I like not, how – Yeah, it's I not like, like um, Google Hangouts. Is, I mean that Which that I will do it. Whatever whatever person is highlighted, it switches to. So yeah. if you record it, you don't have to do any editing. In That's the so much. That is so cool. We better yeah. tell Philip Hodgetts about that. Yeah. <laughs> this is like Jetson stuff. You know. I like it cool. how I'm 16 by nine video, so I can like move my head up, and now it looks like I'm not bald. And I can do this. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> okay. I can get some highlights on my hair. <laughs> You think these two had never been in front of a camera before, guys? Oh. Well, this is fun stuff. You should actually do a show on how to work this go to meeting thing. So, as soon as I figure it out, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I don't know what happened. I guess you all got busy, I got busy, and we missed connecting before the last Final Cut Super Meet. But I, I, I hate that because these are so much fun. You guys always put on such an amazing show. And you bring so much value to the video production community, no matter where it is. And this time, you're going back to, back to Amsterdam. Is this the second or third Amsterdam trip? This is actually the, what is it, the fifth. fifth. Really? This wow. is the fifth, believe it or not. Yeah, it's five. <laughs> I just want wow. to do this. I want to do this a lot. Yeah, <laughs> a, yeah this is the fifth. Uh, we started, uh, um, uh, obviously, five years ago at this uh, beautiful place called the Gas Howder. And which was a converted uh, a giant gasoline storage tank that they converted into right. a uh, an event meeting space. The and, culture, uh, culture Park Wester Gasfabrik. Gasfabrik. Yeah, something like that. And uh, we've had, you know, we we had a success there. We had over 500 people attend, and uh, uh, then we decided we would do it uh, as an annual event. Uh, we had a lot of support in Europe, and uh, we still do. And you know, quite frankly, between us and the those listening and and seeing, it's it's our favorite super meet because you get to go to Amsterdam, and you get to and hang the- out with some extraordinarily creative people. You, you know, there's a lot of great folks in in the United States, but there's something about just going to Europe, especially when you live in in, in Los Angeles, that is just uh, it, the the people that you meet, the the places that you get to see, the it's just it, it makes for just a wonderful experience. Okay, so what's coming up this time? And and as we do this. It's tough to talk to you guys because you always sort of hold out things until the last minute to tease us. So what can you tell us as we're recording this? No, we can't say a thing. It's it's super secret. Have you signed an NDA yet? Yeah. It's (laughs) It's going to be a short show. You just have to show up. (laughs) Well, we have um, our usual sponsors on stage. We have Adobe, Blackmagic Design, uh, Avid, and Autodesk. And also joining us uh, on stage will be Red Giant and Michael Cioni from uh, Light Iron Digital. And uh, I think we got a fabulous people show set up for Amsterdam on Sunday, 9th September. Yeah. Um, 
there, there's excited. not a lot we can say about what they're going to be showing because some of it is actually super secret at this yeah. point. Uh, we're going to post the agenda here shortly, but uh, it's still it's one of those things where you you're really not going to know what's going to be on stage until you get there. We can um, tell you that uh, we do have for Black Magic Design. We have confirmed uh, award-winning uh, cinematographer John Brawley, who just has been working with the new cinema camera from Black Magic, uh, the Black Magic Cinema Camera, and uh, he's in Australia and he's shooting away. And uh, we're going to see some of the first footage um, shown in a public event uh, by that's filmed with that camera. And uh, I think it's amazing because this camera really sets the bar for what the future of visual storytelling is with metadata, with, uh, you know, uh, it's answering a lot of questions that people want and filmmakers want uh, that presently you can't really get in, in a DSLR. So, and by the way, have you heard of that camera uh, uh, at all, Chuck? No, I'm not familiar with that one. Okay, well, this this is what, it's a, it's a two, 3K camera for $3,000? No, it's a 2.5K camera for under just under uh, three grand, and the camera also comes with a copy of Blackmagic uh, Design Resolve 9, the grading software, and uh, Ultrascope. And yeah, Ultrascope so, is yeah, another so piece of software that you use. Yeah, you're buying Resolve and you're buying the Ultrascope and get the camera free. <laughs> well, the it's camera, like, but it's this is amazing. It's 2.5K camera. I mean, right. it's incredible. And it, for it's, under three thousand dollars, it also records onto SSD uh, drives and uh, records also to both uh, Apple ProRes as well as um, Avid DNX HD and uh, 1080p. So you can choose to record directly um, or to go um, out uh, HD SDI. And uh, you know, the, it's just uh, it's this is the type of thing that you're going to see at a super meet that we've had in the past. And our we're we're going in a we're in our eleventh year. We are in our eleventh year. Yes. Right. Oh my God, we're getting old. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, this is our eleventh year, and we've had and we still have, We haven't and, killed each other yet. So it's <laughs> no. But stay tuned. No. <laughs> We have, uh, you know, it's just another example of what you'll see at a super meet. Um, classic moments, um, the Black Magic camera. I think that it's going to be exciting to see um, Adobe and Avid on stage to see what they're going to have for latest updates. Autodesk uh, is definitely going to be Smoke uh, 2013 based. Yeah. And then and uh, for, for editors, uh, Smoke 2013 is is a uh, is a huge, huge different release uh, from the uh, past versions of Smoke. Smoke is a finishing system which allows you to not only edit your movies but finish them, color them, effects, and everything. None of this round tripping going from one application to another. It's all there in this one extraordinary application, which they have made much, much easier to use. And we'll be showing the latest version. Uh, at the Super Meet, uh, Let, so let's put, it, it's really exciting. Let's put it uh, this way: last year it was fifteen thousand dollars. This year, as of NAB, it's gone down to thirty nine ninety five. Right? Yeah, right. So next year will be nine ninety five. No, we don't know that yet. But um, <laughs> Chuck will buy it and he'll teach us how to use it. <laughs> yeah, right. You could use it also, on the go to meeting thing. Put all sorts of wonderful special effects in it. Dude. <laughs> but we also have Red Giant too, uh, who uh, has been with us a couple times uh, in London and whatnot. And uh, Simon Walker, who uh, is both an Apple certified uh, trainer as well as a uh, an That's Adobe the certified trainer. There's nothing I can do about it. The bat phone. Yeah, it's uh, the bat phone. Is going to be uh, showing off what's new with Red Giant. They just, uh, as a matter of fact, Bruce, um, Chuck, you had Bruce Sharp on your last show. Well, uh, Red Giant just uh, acquired Singular Software, and they'll be talking about that. Um, I know that in London last year we had uh, we showed off a plot device by Seth Worley. Seth Worley j um, just came out with a new um, short for Red Giant, so we'll probably see something based on that as well. So it's exciting to see that. The other thing that I'm really excited about uh, that Michael and I act, um, just worked on uh, while I was in uh, Los Angeles uh, last week, I believe, is uh, Michael Cioni is going to be on stage uh, from Light Iron Digital. And uh, 
He's going to talk, and we don't want to give it away, but he's going to have a great talk that really directly applies to where this whole industry is going, where people like you, Mike, myself, who are filmmakers, who are creatives, who are both technicians and creatives, um, not spoiling yeah. the thunder. We shouldn't say anything about it, but it's going to be a classic Super Meat moment that, that uh, is one of the many that we've had in our success of, of 11 years uh, going on 12. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think it's not too much just too much hype to say this is going to be one of the most important talks that the uh, industry will uh, will hear because uh, you know everything is changing. Well, this industry is changing, and uh, and uh, we all need a little roadmap. Uh, and Michael Chioni is, is going to give us a little roadmap, and uh, he's been doing cutting edge stuff here in Hollywood forever, and uh, he does all you know a lot of the top movies. Uh, here in uh, Los Angeles, and uh, he is uh, developing cutting-edge technology as well as ideas for for studios and filmmakers of where this whole thing is going and and uh, and what they need to do and what we need to do, and so it uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a very very important talk. And uh, so but, Michael, you know, we talk, we, we, yeah, we talk about all this stuff that we're going to be putting on stage, but as you know, we've said before, it's you know, super meets are not about just what's on stage. And uh, not at all. I mean, again, a, a lot of people you'll see that there's uh, trade shows out there, and uh, we have yet to really. Cl I, I don't think we're a trade show. If anything, we are a people show, not a trade show. And the people that you'll see in the area where all the vendors and exhibitors are are all having conversations and exciting conversations. And they're people that you're meeting face to face that you may have not seen since last year, since you've gone to IBC or Amsterdam, or new people that you've heard about on the web or net or in the industry, they actually get to meet and shake hands with. And I think that's really important. The stage is in the vendor showcase area as much as it is on stage in the in the Super Meat Theater. But, you know, I just sort of coined that about 10 minutes ago uh, before we came on, but I really like the term people show because it really is. I think that the super meets are very much about the people who come to the meeting as well as those who are on stage. The the super meets I've attended, I, I come away with some knowledge. And again, at my level, I, I guess it's not hard to come away with knowledge, but I come away with useful knowledge. That may be a better way to say it. I come away inspired. I come away informed. I come away you know, wanting to stretch beyond what I've been doing and maybe try something new. And now I know where to go to learn about it. I know some hardware or software that may help me do it. Uh, it uh, and that, and that's both from the stage, from the interaction with the people, and also from the trade show floor section that you always have. Because there, there are people there, and sure, they're showing off their wares, but they're also answering questions. They're the people that made it. Uh, one thing that's great about Super Meats, there are no booth babes. There are no very few marketing people. You know, it's the people that use it, make it, and they can answer your questions and tell you how to get done what you need to get done. Actually, we wish we did have booth babes. Yeah, yeah actually, <laughs> you know, I, I have to correct you on that, Chuck, because um, one of our long-standing um, vendors, uh, Nicholas Bond and Noise Industry, oh, he always, well, he always he manages to have a great presence at his at his table. Oh, absolutely. But, <laughs> I, I know Nicholas, but but I don't think I don't think of that. That's not the, the booth babe that we all know and exactly. question. It's more you like that, me when I'm working for Canon. Exactly. Behind the show. Dan and I are the booth babes. Actually, don't think of me like that. But, um, actually, I wasn't noise about to do it. Yeah, thank you. Noise Industries, uh, just so that you know, they're in the news now because uh, they're, they're, uh, their software – there are two BU grads, and uh, Gabriel and Nicholas uh, from Noise Industries, and they're out there uh, really uh, working on Hollywood films with their software. And that's one example that I'm pretty proud of being from Boston and whatnot. So I always like to plug the people in my community, people like Noise Industries, Gen Arts, Boris Effects. All these companies and the people in them have been at our – and continue to be at our super meets. And I think that's important. Yeah. That that brings up something that we've t we've touched on before, but I want to touch out on it again because it's becoming more and more true that you can you can be using a lot of the same tools that the major studios are using mm -hmm. for your own projects. Now, not at you know nine hundred nine ninety nine ninety nine or anything. 
um, or not, I should say, not $99, but, well, in some cases, actually. No, actually, um, in, in a, a lot of the cases, the movies that you see, the big tentpole movies, those $250 million movies, a lot of those uh, effects that you see are done with off-the-shelf software. And, the Avengers, uh, you know, the yeah, Avengers from Amazing, amazing Spider-Man and uh, all these, you know, a lot of After Effects work. It's, all this stuff is stuff that you can do. The only difference is there's about 150 other people working with you. So it, it helps right. to speed and Render things. farms and... Yeah. And render farms and things like that. So the, all this stuff is not out of the realm of, of you know, can you do it or you, you can't do it. Uh, if this is the industry that you want to get into, a lot of this stuff exists right off the shelf. Go to Amazon, buy it, learn it, do it. I mean, it's, it's really that simple. The only difference is that you've got uh, 200 sometimes a, a thousand people working with you on those giant movies uh, such as you know, Amazing Spider-Man and, and whatever. Uh, You're having um, Alan Bell, is his, his yeah, name? Yeah, right. At your next uh, user group meeting? I mean, he's, a, he's, a, he's an effect, uh, editor, but he's, he's also an effects guy. Uh, and so, but, uh, uh, but he's not the guy who did all the special effects, but he's, he used effects to enhance the performances to show um, uh, his director. So, uh, and again, that's, it's another thing that we're all faced with. We all have to know everything <laughs> now and that exactly. includes sound and editing and effects and all that it's not just about piecing a movie together right. you you better know you better know you're, it all be you're somewhat starting to, yeah. you're starting yeah. to give away michael's talk and michael chioni's talk but uh, i think we, we, let's we've put talked this, about that a lot you know right it's, 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 well uh, it's, it's yeah, it stands to reason. I mean, that right. that's the way the industry is going. Just like with so many things, right. you may not have to, you may not be an expert in in all of them, but you need to understand them all to put the package <laughs> right. together. Well, uh, I think that the word that people still have in their head is jack, or the phrase is jack of all trades, and that, you know, that usually when you talk about that, it's not necessarily a flattering comment, but that's changing. And on Sunday, September 9th, you'll learn all about that yeah. <laughs> at the super meet. But um, no, it's, uh, it's today's been a great day, Chuck. Um, you know, we are get to talk more, uh, talk to you over this new technology. Um, just in this last week, um, I don't know if you've watched the Olympics at all, uh, but um, I was quite enthralled by being able to watch um, NBCOlympics.com live on my new MacBook Retina under Mountain Lion via AirPlay onto my 55-inch plasma, and that why am I saying that is because um, it's it's the future, it's the direction of where this whole industry is going. Um, I thought those two separate experiences, being able to watch it live without commentators, but you see the whole event live. The closing ceremonies were fabulous. It was like a live concert. Um, I thought that. You know, be due to the nature of television now, you know, the what you saw on TV was a totally different experience, and it's sad. But every every Olympics and uh, you know brings this type of technology, and I think that you know where we're headed now, between this and what happened uh, the week before, the Mar the the Mars Curiosity lander landed, uh, yeah. and I watched that live on. Uh, NASA.TV on my MacBook Retina, and also had the live Java app that showed uh, the status of the uh, the Curiosity as, as it was uh, headed toward the planet. This is stuff I dreamed about when I was a kid, <laughs> and 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 just to think of what, what what how this technology is available now for the children and the educators, and and just a whole new experience. And yeah, I remember was, when we Olympics. were both we were both watching the, the the landing at the same time and texting each other with tears in our eyes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, now you have you know you're texting, you're watching things live <laughs> on the internet. The TV is different. The whole experience is different. Um, it's exciting, and uh, and just you know, with what has happened since um, since Apple decided to have the exclusive worldwide sneak preview of Final Cut Pro 10 on our super meet stage in Las Vegas. Things have changed. Yeah. And it's you know, an exciting you, world. And Dan, your point about the Olympics is a really interesting one. Uh, and I, I want to make sure people understand, this was an event that was watched all over the globe, but it was watched in so many different ways. It You could watch, as you said, the, the raw, un, 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 uh, 
uncommentated, <laughs> uncolor right. commentated. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I and, yeah. And 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 then you could watch the packaged version, which you know NBC has drawn some critici criticism for, and in my opinion, sometimes rightly so. Sometimes I think it's been a little harsh. But you you have the issues of of time zones trying to fight out, you know, how do you present something in prime time for people that can't watch it live, and and all of this kind of folds back into video production, and what you guys do at a super meet. There are so many different ways to do this stuff. And now I think we're finding out that there are different audiences for the very same content if it's packaged differently. Right. I, I mean, agree. all you have to do is look at what YouTube is doing. They have exactly. little, the, the hundreds of channels that they're out there because of that they, specific tiny little audience. Uh, if they can get get that audience, it, it can pay for itself. I whoever mean, thought idea, that I, you, I, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, whoever thought that YouTube would have a, a production studio. They have one now. Yeah, and, in what, and what you, and what you saw, at the Olympics is a sign of is a foreshadowing of where the whole industry is going. Yeah, so it's, it's safe very to say exciting. that uh, broadcast television is is not going to be around in 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 a, in a very short amount of time. Everything's going broadband, and uh, uh, and we'll just have to get used to it. And you know, Dan is is is. Is one of the the first people, or we're all one of the first people to to watch streaming on our 55 inch plasma stream. And it's through airplay. <laughs> through airplay, yeah. but it'll, well, it'll eventually much, yeah. it'll eventually we'll just buy the TV sets, and it'll just all be internet ready, and it'll all be internet, and it'll all be internet connected. So we'll have our little iPads and our iPhones and our TV. And all this interaction going on, the, 500 channels over here on YouTube. You'll still have your NBCs and all this, but it'll all be broadband. And I mean, uh, whether you like it or not, you know, I mean, you're going to see iPhones being used as the cameras, multiple right. cameras being switched through iPads or your MacBook Pro streaming live. I mean, just when I watched that, um, it made me get chills because I thought of how I could use this technology at my own user group meeting. When I have an event and when we show other people's work, being able to show it through AirPlay and whatnot, and I don't know, I just, I just yeah. think it's kind of getting back to the campfire, the digital campfire, and it truly is a digital campfire now with what's yeah, going we're both, on. We're both kicking and screaming about this all the time, you know, whether we should live stream super meets and whether we should, because the whole idea of a super meet is that gathering, that connecting to each other face to face, because we're dealing with all this this technology and all this uh, uh, sitting at home by ourselves and interacting via these computers, uh, we still think it's really damned important that you get out of the house and that you connect face to face. And so we're exactly. trying to find that happy balance. Uh, we will not live stream this next event because we're still wanting the people to come and connect and, and yeah. see it in person. We'll tape it and then you'll see it later, but it's, it's, it's it's the, that live connection that we all have and we all still need because we're human beings um, that we uh, um, so we that's, that's why I say it's a people show the yeah. super meet very much is but but Mike I, I like the fact it would be nice to stream it but the reality is and especially because of the uh, of the way you do it I mean you guys go from London to you know the west coast of of the of North America so you have a lot of time zone issues I, I would love if I can't be there in person I'd love to watch it live yeah, realistically I, I may not be able to the fact that you do record it and then release it later is incredibly valuable because even if I can't make it to Amsterdam which unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do this time I, I can still come away with at least some of the wisdom that is there, not nearly as much. And I think that's the thing. You know, if I come to a super meet, I get 100% of the experience. If I watch it live, excuse me, if I watch it recorded later, I get a lower percentage. I, yeah. it, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's 90 or 30 or what. Well, but it's, it's definitely like going not to a sporting. sporting it's, it's like it's like going to a sporting event. Uh, you, you, the only thing you can see on television at a sporting event is where the camera points. And you're missing a hell of a lot of other stuff. You go to a football game, you know, you'll you'll see the quarterback throw the football and the guy catch it or miss it or anything like that. But there's something really extraordinary going on in the backfield that you're missing. It's the same thing with live streaming at a live event. All you're seeing is where the camera is pointing. You're not seeing everything else. And and uh, unless you're covering it with 200 cameras and you're switching a lot, then it's just it's not the same thing. So. Uh, 
you know, again, this is a generational thing, possibly. I, I am kicking and screaming into this this age. I, I and, and live and also live streaming is just hard. It's but just, we we're it's entering really into our we are entering into our twelfth year in two thousand and thirteen. Uh, I think the Mayan calendar will have no effect on us going into 2013, and <laughs> we'll uh, we'll do things. I, I know that we will at some point do things like we'll have an Apple TV device of some sort on the stage, and instead of having show and tells that we have user submission, they'll just stream it from their iPhones onto the stage, and we'll do some sort of open mic videos, you know, open screen. We'll do that. The the 200 cameras mic. Are at some well, point we'll have yeah. we'll have different uh, angles because people are using their cameras. They're 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 showing the excitement of someone that someone's on stage or whatever's happening. Um, so that I, I really like where with the technology that everyone the, the in the industry, not just Apple, Adobe, Avid, Blackmagic, Canon, uh, everyone. You know, this it's not name it's not brand specific, but where this is going. And this digital campfire is going, and this people show is going. I really believe that that experience is going to. Uh, we're going to have new things to to witness, and and you know, yeah. in the coming years, it's just all you know, waiting for the technology to finally come upon us. You know, that's why you know, with an Olympics like like what just happened, you know, every four years that type of thing. But who knows what's going to happen in the new year for the technology. <laughs> And think about this conversation. We somewhere toward the beginning we started talking about a 2K camera that's come down in price a ridiculous amount over the last year. Yet in the last few minutes, Dan is holding up his iPhone and saying, you know, this is what things are being shot with. Think about the the, the breadth of of experience and availability here that we all have. And and you you can do some great work with one of these. <laughs> you, can, right, you can. I mean, it's. it's yep. It's it's a powerful little little tool with an extremely uh, and and you can also put different lenses on that thing as you know you can go and, out and, and this again goes to the whole nature of what a super meet is all about. We have uh, Josh Apter who uh, is in New York in New York City based uh, running Manhattan Edit Workshop and doing all sorts of training with all the different editing apps and whatnot. But he also in his own spare time out of his own passion loves the iPad and actually developed what he now calls the Padcaster, of which he'll be showing off and actually recording interviews, much of like what you're doing with us right now at the Super Meet in Amsterdam. Yeah, you ought to Google that. The pad yeah, it's it's pretty the Padcaster. It's it's yeah. it's it's amazing. It's you know it's another, so it's another affordable tool that uh, that he's uh, jerry rigged into a, a little one man band uh, um, movie making thing. So it's it's just a really it's it's really cool. Yeah, and and Mike, the key word there to me, especially for my audience, is affordable, because yeah. you can't. I mean, the two cam the two K camera is cool, and I I will lust after it, but the reality is, I, I I probably will never have my hands on it, or at least not when it's in that price range, because I just don't realistically have the need. But I can do a lot of things with an iPhone or an iPod Touch, or an iPad, or all of those. A I, GoPro I seen camera or. The, the GoPro yeah. camera, Dan, that's right. a great example. Yeah. Well, you remember when you came to the Super Meets and you were doing a lot of interviews, and then you put them up on the web, and you cut them yourself, you edited them yourself, and you had you know good composition. They were very professionally done. Wasn't that with just a little handheld camcorder that you, Ab you know, some absolutely. cheap thing that you, and they consumer, looked great. Consumer level camcorder. That's it. Yeah. I mean, I think we all, as as geeks of one stripe or another, we all get hung up on the on the hardware lust. And th at the end of the day, you, if you can get over that or get beyond it, learn the tools that you have, boy, you can do some fun things yeah. and, and graduate eventually. Get, graduate. Absolutely. I mean, you, we got all these tools, and there is no excuse anymore. Uh, if, if this is your passion, then go out and do it, and you can do it with anything. You know, if you, if you have iMovie, it's a wonderful tool. Uh, it doesn't matter, and if you want to make little movies, you have all that stuff. It's all affordable, and uh, it, it's really just a matter of doing it. Now, if this you want to make it a career, then it becomes harder because how do you make money from this stuff? And that's the big, big question. And uh, some people can, some people can't. But those who who are very talented and find their talent, you, you can't deny these people. You will find an audience if you've got. If you've got the skills, you're going to find the audience. If you don't, you'll 
you learn and you quit. <laughs> it's as yeah. you know, simple as that. I was just uh, I just attended uh, a creative economy um, summit meeting today uh, in Boston, and we're all talking about uh, where is this industry going? How can we help promote what's happening in Massachusetts? Um, and you know something we haven't really talked talked about yet. It, it's the students, it's the education, it's the facilities, and you know Boston's a big college town, and um, you know, you know, I mentioned people like Noise Industries. The two, the two um, owners came from BU, and I really think that you know what you know. There's a, you know, Mike. You say you're you you can't you're still trying to grasp it all. The kids have this all figured out. You know, the <laughs> students have it all figured out. They're creating stories. Their stories and their ideas of stories and how they tell stories are ever evolving, and that's I think is what's going to help continue to keep the industry. Fresh, if you will, or or whatnot, you know, because you're going to get both the content and both the technology coming out of the uh, out of the students' minds, and a lot of people take it for very obvious reasons, or they overlook it a lot. But you know, it, we've got to continue to find ways to inspire the students to do whatever they want to do, because that's what's going to evolve this technology. Yeah, all the all these smart people have created all this really cool stuff. I mean, this is just Cool. This go to meeting thing, and then and Skype and iChat and messages and and uh, you know what you can you can talk to people across the country and see their face in this little thing here. And I, just today, I bought this. You know what this thing is? It holds 32 gigabytes of storage. Dan, show your thing. 128. 128 gigabytes. And why did I buy this? It's not because I'm a geek. It's because I use it. You know, I'm moving a lot of data. With my DSLR and my camera, the, the other couple of cameras that I have, this is something that Michael Cioni will talk about. The Super Meat, yeah, he, his roots are coming from a DIT, um, from the DIT industry, and how he's been able to work with the major Hollywood studios to manage that data. This is the new pen and paper. This is data. This is where it's all going. 128 and, uh, gigabytes, right in that little. It's, it's amazing. Just amazing. And Dan, Dan what's, I have no idea. What's 128 gig thumb drive cost? <laughs> it wasn't that um, much. It's more than a dollar per gigabyte. Okay. Let's put but, it that well, way. Well, it, so it, was, it, cost, it cost was, $200 for this on Amazon. This one was uh, 32 gigabytes. cost me $17.99. This is USB 3.0. This, this can read up to, I believe, oh, um, that's 3.0. Like a, it's oh. USB 3.0, so it has like blazingly fast re, uh, read and write. Uh, you know speeds, but um, you know this is. If anyone questions why we're spending billions of dollars to go to Mars, Look you know this. this is one of. You know this has this more. Thing. We all know this. this is all common knowledge. This has more technology than the ma lunar, you know, manned missions have. That's why we go. You know, and that's also to inspire. Fifty the gigabytes. It was. It's four years old. Fifty gigabytes. People, people say, gigabytes. yeah, why are we spending all this money? You know, we should spend it in our own country. We are spending it in our own country because what you see trickles down, and 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 the the just the sheer inspiration. You know, I again, I, I'm. Yeah, you I'm talk not, about inspiring. I mean, that's uh, we're inspired by that stuff, and we're inspired by, by well, these these little tools that come out, and uh, they are all affordable. We can do some wonderful, wonderful things with it. It's just a matter of going out and doing those wonderful things. Yeah, it's still, it's still about story. It's still about yeah. you know. It's still Again, about. It comes story. down to talent. If you got the talent, and you'll 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 know. You'll find the audience. The audience will find you. And you have to do it. I mean, you have to do it, and, and you, you have to try it, it yeah. and you got to experiment. And just it's it's funny how it works, but it's like everything else. The more you do, the better you get. The more opportunities that appear before you. Yeah, I mean, and you've been talk you've been talking to people for a long, long time. You're getting better and better and better and better at it. Why? Because you you keep doing it, and uh, you're one of you're one of the best. So it's 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 uh, you got the well, talent, and well, people find you. Thank Thanks. you. I don't I don't know if I completely agree, but thank you. I, it's, it's well, something... you you wouldn't be doing this unless you're getting a lot of positive feedback. If you were, if everybody was yeah. saying you're just crap, yeah. <laughs> well, what, eventually what you... eventually you would probably give up. You I would hope you wouldn't. Because right, you can't listen point. to them. You you're, can't you're, listen to them. This is this is a journalism of its own kind, and it's communicating ideas to, that will, other people will see 
beliefs, mores, whatever. And um, I really believe in this, that, that we are all agents of change, and that we have the capacity to share our ideas in an intelligent and a creative way, an informal way, that can really, um, you know, a lot of people, today, the, today's world, there's a lot of doubt out there. And uh, I can say that I enjoy talking to you right now, Chuck, and I, I know that people will hopefully enjoy what we're talking about and identify with a little about, a bit about it. They'll go and maybe try out some of the things that we talked about, or they'll, better yet, come to a super meet, meet us face to face. Yeah. Um, I mean, your your that's transmissions. The most, yeah, that's that's the most important thing because when you meet face to face, you can solve each other's problems and you can uh, you know and inspire each other, help each other, collaborate with each other because this is a, such a collaborative. Uh, uh, yeah, business. I mean that the fact that. This is going to go out all over the world, and you can watch it at any time, repeatedly that, if you want to. It's isn't that just cool? <laughs> it's just it's very cool. And and you know what's what's kind of sad about it is it's it's very cool to the three to the three of us, to the kids in junior high school and high school, it's like yeah, so what? Because that's yeah, all they've that, ever that, known. That, that's fine. Well, you know, I would probably be the same yeah. way if I were their age too. But this is, sure. this and, is and, all new to us. But you know, yeah, and still... think think about where they're starting. I mean, you know, we're we're kind of clawing, picking and clawing our way to to get to this point. They get to start here and keep on going. And I, it's going to be fun to see what happens and where it takes us. They are the new Hollywood. All they need yes. to do is paint their is paint their bedroom wall green, and they can tell some things and do some things with software that we've never been able to do with. That's yeah. going to put them in yeah. different all, environments and God knows what. And all it takes is just that love of this stuff, you know, that, that love of, of storytelling, that love of movies. If they love movies, and then go out there and steal from the movies that you love until you can find your own voice. And uh, but that's all starts with that love. I love well, this stuff. Yeah. You know, when I was just... when I was young, I had a Super 8 camera, and I I would my brother and I would work in our basement and and film each other, or we'd put build a model and put it up against the background and light it and film it, and then we'd wait like two weeks for the Super 8 film to come back, and we're like, oh, when's it coming back? You know, then you know, then we would edit it and and lose pieces of film because it's we can't find it, you know. <laughs> What you can do today on an on an iPhone, it's amazing. Uh, well, let's get let's take, come full circle and get back to the details on the Superman. Yeah. When is it? How much is it? And we already know that they should go. So, and where do they go to get more information? Well, supermeat.com. It's always supermeat.com. You can get all the information there, and hopefully we're going to be uh, putting up the agenda or some form of the agenda here pretty soon. Uh, it's going to be on September 9th, which is a Sunday, in Amsterdam, and it's going to be alongside the uh, the big, big trade show there called IBC, and which is kind of like the European NAB. Um, so, and it starts, the doors open like at 4.30, it goes till about 11 o'clock, um, it, it's a lot of great stuff on stage, and it'll be about, you know, you'll be sharing space with about 500, 600 people who are going to be showing up, you're going to see a lot of great stuff on stage, but more importantly, you're going to meet a lot of great people and hang out with the, uh, with the vendors there who are going to be showing some cutting edge stuff that we've been talking about here tonight. And um, we're at a wonderful venue, the Hotel Krasnopolsky, it's probably our yeah, it's favorite awesome. venue. Right in the heart of Dam Square, which is a very popular area, heart of downtown Amsterdam. There's a lot of history there. We dump people out in that in that square right after the super meet, and then you know, <laughs> then they can go anywhere and have a great time, and it's accessible. Yeah, yeah the, the price fun. is also very inexpensive because we always try to keep it that way. It's uh, 15 euros a, a person for general admission, and for students, it's 10 euros. However, there's discount codes all over the place. In fact, we can give you one, and we can you can post it on your uh, your website, yes. which is say five euros off of the student and the general admission price. Great. So and just, re just remind us to do that, and we'll give you a discount code. Okay. Now, if this was going live, we'd have to do it while we're talking. But um, we, can make, we can make it up right now. So I, I'm going to make it up right now. How about Mac Voices VIP? There, we could, does that work? Terrific. Use That's that perfect. promotional Thank code, Mac Voices VIP, and you can save yourself five euros. Um, but uh, again, we can't stress the importance of of those of you who are going to be in Netherlands at, uh, on September 9th. You know, get out of your house and get to a super meet. Uh, you're going to meet a lot of extraordinary people. Uh, if you have that personality, you have to have the courage to go up to somebody and say, hi, my name is, 
And before you know it, you you might have met somebody who's changed your life. That's what I did to uh, back in God. Uh, when was it? When was uh, DB Expo West? When Final Cut version th Pro version three was coming out, I went up to oh, you, Mike, at the end of the meeting. I said, "Hello, my name's Dan Baruby. I'm going to start the Boston Final Cut Pro user group." And you looked at me like I was crazy, saying, "You know, as if you knew what work I was cut out for." And said, "Well, good luck is something that you said to me." You know, <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> and we're still and we're still doing it. <laughs> yeah, we have um, College of Multimedia, the uh, SAE Institute. Um, so we have yeah, some education. A lot, a lot of students yep. and uh, a lot of filmmakers, a lot of really good filmmakers. So it's 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 really worth going to. And uh, uh, and then we come back to America. And, for, and that's the that's the, the the question I want to wrap up on. And I don't want to push you guys over the edge because I know how how stressful this could be. But after you come back from Amsterdam, what's the next one? Boston again? Boston, Boston in November. We're going to announce the date very soon. Actually, we know what the date is, but we're just going to wait and announce it. Um, and yes, and uh, we're going to have a great time with that. We have yeah, some great. We're waiting to see if we that. can we can book you on that show. Uh, oh yeah, you do something come on to stage. That. We can book uh, we can book Chuck. Chuck can do twenty minutes on uh, iPhone video. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you should come. Yeah, oh, it, if I can, don't yeah. you worry. That's that's the closest show you guys do. I, I know. Right. I'll have, but, after this is over, I'm going to try to pry the date out of you so I can get it on my calendar. Okay. okay. So, um, so um, Boston in November, and then uh, at the same time, we're already thinking about NEB, you know, 2013. San Francisco. You know. and uh, Right. Great. But uh, I think we're going to go uh, – we were going to go to uh, London in June, but we decided to hold off because of the Olympics. But we're definitely going to go out of the country again besides Amsterdam in 2013. We just don't know if it's going to be um, London or not. I do know that we made a pact, Mike and I, after the Olympics that we're going to Rio in 2016. That would be nice. So. <laughs> <laughs> We do a super meet on the beach. Yeah, there you go. That, that works. That works. I might come to that one. You could make that a drink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's to that. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for the time. It's it's always fun. It's always yeah. It's almost impossible to get you two on and stick to the super meet because there's such a bigger picture going on here. And I really appreciate the fact that you share yeah. it with me. And it's all about creativity. It's uh you know, and that's what that these super meets are all about. But the discussion always comes back to be creative. Yep. And, uh, you got the tools, I, no excuse. Go out there and do yeah. it. I can't wait to see the video. This is great. I, I hope it turns out. <laughs> yeah, you're going to hear that echo. <laughs> yeah. Did you click record before? <laughs> yes, I did. Thank did you, you hit Gary. the record? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Exercise that's, and utility. That's Dan Verubi. <laughs> that's Michael Horton. They are running the Final Cut Pro Super Meet, or the Super Meet, I should say, in Amsterdam coming up in September. And then we're, we'll have them back on before the Boston one in the undisclosed date in November. Right. We'll Please check the show you. notes. I'll have everything here. And don't forget, with now the Mac Voices VIP code, you can save five euros off the Amsterdam show. Until the next time, this is Mac Voices. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group at macvoicesgroup.com. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com.